Hello everyone and welcome to my free flight channel. This is a channel dedicated to people who fly in VR, who use Oculus Quest 2s or and who are glider pilots and today I am delighted to announce that after only a two year wait and even though gliding is not officially supported in Microsoft Flight Simulator yet, we do have fantastic thermals within the flight sim. Yep, that's right folks, thermals and they are absolutely brilliant. This particular video is going to be an incredibly boring video for most people, but for glider pilots it could well prove invaluable. We're going to be looking at clouds. <laughs> We're just going to be looking at clouds forming. And the purpose of the video is to test to see what the life cycle of the cumulus clouds are in flight sim so that we can report back to Asobo and request that they make any any adjustments, major or minor, that we might come across. A couple of things to keep in mind as far as them was concerned. Number one, they are there in real weather. Yes, that's right. You can go to any place in the world that's flyable uh, in real time and in real weather and the thermals will be there underneath the cumulus. The other thing is that they're also available in weather that you generate yourself. There aren't any sliders. There's, <laughs> there's no, you know, let's have 20% uh, thermals and uh, 600 feet per minute up and down. You have to understand the meteorology behind it um, and you have to understand how cumulus are formed and, and how to get the best out of them. But for real weather, it cannot be beaten. It cannot be beaten whatsoever. Okay, so without further ado, let's go and have a quick look. Hopefully, while this uh, talk has been running, you've been looking at the settings for the, the weather that I've been setting. Uh, so I, I'm flying at my home club, Camp Hill, and we're just going to go up now, look at the uh, cloud formations. Um, so sit back and watch the paint dry. And do feel free to download it and play around with it if you want. Uh, if you want to look at the typical life cycle, find the start point of a cloud forming and the end point, multiply it by a factor of 10, and that will give you the approximate timed life cycle of, of, a, of a cloud. Uh, so because I'm time lapsing it and increasing the speed by 10 times, otherwise you'd all have died of boredom by the time you get to the end of this video. Okay, so let's crack on. So just as a reminder, this is the paint drying bit. So pick the start of the formation of a cloud, pick the end of the formation of the cloud, and multiply the time by 10, and you have the life cycle of that particular cloud. Okay, that's my only reminder. The last next the last bit you'll see me doing is just going under one of the clouds and doing a few turns just to prove that there is a thermal there. And they are fantastic. And this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We are all over the moon. If you want to check out the description in the video, you'll find a link to the Microsoft Flight Simulator gliding Facebook page. You're more than welcome to come and join us guys and contribute to the contribute to the work that's going on so that when it finally does come out as officially supported we'll have the best gliding package in the universe. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna shut up now and let you enjoy the clouds.
Okay, so we're getting close to the end now, guys, and I just wanted to say that um, I've not been recording in VR tonight simply because uh, by being in VR and having to run the video recording software, my frame rate tanks. But just imagine what this is going to be like in VR when you can actually look around you, um, look where the th look where the clouds are, pick your route get over there look up to make sure you're under the cloud and whereabouts you are in the cloud um, it is just a, a a fantastic experience in virtual reality uh, and that's all for now the video is very shortly going to come to the end thanks for watching and if you like the channel subscribe to it if you didn't well don't bother i ain't that bothered as you can see i don't have much of a regular output i don't earn any money from it it's just here as a service to glider pilots thank you